Hi, this is Dr. Akshaya here. I'm consultant physician, Manipal Hospitals, Whitefield, Bangalore. The first thing we all are aware of is that vitamin D is very important for the bone and muscle health. We also see that a lot of patients coming to us and telling like they have been on calcium supplements for a very long time. But what they don't understand is without adequate vitamin D levels in our body, the calcium no matter how much we take, it's not absorbed and assimilated. So for a good bone health, we need vitamin D calcium and magnesium and other minerals like zinc, even vitamin K2 and glucosamine etc. So another important function of vitamin D is it boosts your immune system and fights the inflammation. The third thing is it improves your cardiovascular health and it is also seen that people who are having adequate vitamin D levels there is a low risk of cancer in such people like especially it helps in the risk of cancer like colorectal cancer, the breast cancer, prostatic cancer, all these incidences are low in people with sufficient vitamin D levels. As I already mentioned, sunshine is the best source. And next, the vitamin D is mostly available in the non-vegetarian sources, like mostly it's the fish, like you know, the salmon and uh, the canned tuna fish, and cod liver oil, egg yolk, etc. And for vegans, uh, it's mostly from the wild mushrooms or like there are a lot of these days fortified foods which are fortified with vitamin D like you know you get fortified cereals, fortified orange juices, fortified milk, soya milk, yogurt etc. One is with a diet and supplement. Every day our requirement is around 600 to 800 international units of vitamin D needs to be taken. In case if you are deficient with vitamin D, it's better to consult your physician and uh, they will prescribe you adequate dose of vitamin D for a required length of period as per your vitamin D levels. Usually we give around 60,000 units every weekly for uh, around 8 to 12 weeks and uh, followed by the maintenance dose. One more last thing about vitamin D what I would like to mention is generally there's a lot of awareness of vitamin D deficiency happening. So people tend to go to the over counter and buy vitamin D supplements and they also can uh, take the supplements prescribed to their relatives so in that you can have uh, the risk of toxicity so very important to understand is if you are experiencing toxicity symptoms like blue stools vomiting diarrhea all the symptoms and uh, you can also have this confusion headaches going on sometimes it can even lead to kidney stones and kidney failure so this is a word of caution that you should need to take before you over abuse vitamin d supplements so with regards to vitamin d i strongly recommend everyone to take a regular yearly test to understand if you are deficient and if you are deficient definitely meet us your physicians we are always ready to help you with the proper optimal dosage of vitamin D supplements so that you don't overuse over the counter vitamin D which is available. I hope you find this useful. Take care.